when you have financial freedom and purpose, you say no to a lot of things. And uh, this um, this article talks about Messi. Can we look at my uh, screen here, my, my computer? So L Lionel Messi was said to have signed a deal to play soccer in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is trying to build up the soccer league. But he turned him down. Lionel Messi, who is the, who is the goat of soccer, okay, uh, based on what he just did in the World Cup here, um, uh, the, the last uh, time here, and uh, where was it played? Was it uh, where's the World Cup? At? Was it Russia? Uh, where, where, where's the World Cup played? Uh, Qatar. 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 Yeah, Qatar. Excuse me, yeah, Qatar. Qatar. Right. Uh, Rodolfo Vargas was out there with his dad, and he just couldn't believe it. You know, from the immigrants from El Salvador, our business partners out of Houston. But when he won that World Cup, he is the hands down goat. Was it Maradona? Was it uh, um, was it uh, um, what's the, uh, sorry, a good looking guy? Rodolfo. R uh, uh, Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Yeah, Ronaldo. Sorry, Rodolfo. Yeah, Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Right. Messi's the goat. So he turned him down to go play where MLS. He's coming to Fort Lauderdale. He's partnering with his buddy, David <coughs> Beckham, who's another soccer great. Yeah. Uh, this soccer club, this football club, is at the bottom right now of, of, of the league. And it's a massive publicity coup. Grabbing all these eyeballs that he's coming to the MLS. This is crazy. It's like bringing the Michael Jordan of soccer into the United States. It's a big, it's a big deal. Um, what's cool about this is, so what did he turn that $400 million for? Number one, he's got money in the bank already. Yeah. He's got financial freedom. Yeah. He's on purpose. The MLS has offered the Argentinian a revenue-sharing deal with Adidas and Apple. So now he's in business with who? Adidas and Apple. Yeah. Which broadcast the league. There have been reports that Messi, like Beckham, will be offered the chance to own an MLS team when he retires. He's following the Michael Jordan blueprint. Being able to own something. When Being done. able to own something. So, you know, the, there's one thing to act like a player, to play like a player. But it's another thing to think like an owner. And I think that's where a lot of the athletes that we've talked to, a lot of our clients are athletes, is for me coaching them on, okay, you made your mind in this platform. You're the best of the best. You're one of the elite people that's ever played the sport to play and do this for a living, a child's game. Now, you got to think like an owner. How do I maximize this money for the rest of my life? How do I feed into other businesses? How do I feed into other opportunities? So therefore, I have a recurring income for the rest of my life, because I have something that a lot of people don't have. They have the status of being an, an, an elite player in that sport. And number two, the multi, multi, multi millions it pays you. So good job for Messi. Uh, what's your thoughts on this? I mean, he's coming to America, yeah. the biggest name in soccer. I think that's going to bring more light to America, definitely bring more traffic through, through, through what we have here going on in the United States. But also for him, the cool thing about this is, um, it, it does read. It does read that it include uh, it, it includes commercial contracts with Apple and Adidas, which are two key you know partners for the MLS, and it could also it could also give Messi an option to purchase a minority stake in Inter Miami, which obviously is going to surely boost the profile of soccer in the United States because before that it was there's really no one that's of popularity here yep. in, in in the United States, but now that we have this man walking through the doors of this. Yep. Of this country is definitely going to uh, set off a new tone for our, our league. Yeah, let's take a look at this new LeBron James shooting stars film. Uh, let's, see, uh, let's go to this article right here. LeBron James, uh, later, let me get off this. Uh, uh, let's look at my screen. Good. So LeBron James shooting, film, uh, filming this movie, set to release this year, Shooting Stars, goes beyond basketball to highly power friendship and mentors. And so and I, I was so enamored by uh, him. I, by the way, I'm not a LeBron guy. I am a Michael Jordan guy, yeah. okay? I'm behind MJ. He's the GOAT. But I got to respect what LeBron has done throughout his 20-plus year career in, in, in the NBA. And now his son is greatly blessed. Bronny James has signed, signed a multi-million dollar NIL, NIL deal, uh, and he's not even a pro. Yeah. He's in college, or he's going to college. But we don't know if he's going to go to college. We'll, we'll see here in a minute. Yeah. But uh, uh, what's interesting, I wanted to go over this. I'm, I'm looking forward to how, how his story unfolds. Um, in, in his film, they talk about basketball, but I feel like the movie represents more than life. Basketball is more than a game. It's about friendship. It's about a bond. It's about all community. There are parallels in this film that people don't see. The people, uh, don't forget about the people that love you and support you because you're going to need them at the end of the day. When all else fails, when your back's against the wall, you're going to need that person to have your back. What I appreciate about LeBron <laughs> is not necessarily his role as an athlete. Uh, what I appreciate about LeBron is his ability to take that money and fund different businesses. And in this case, different movies. I just was taking a look at some of the movies that, uh, that he's, 
He's created, obviously, Space Jam 2 is a movie he created. Uh, his participation in NBA 2K20. Um, a student athlete, it's another uh, 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 production he, he, he funded. More than an athlete. Uh, the Shop. These are all uh, movies and documentaries and shows that he's funded and financed. Um, a lot of things, The Wall. Uh, that, my, my, uh, my, my, my mom saw this this weekend. She was hanging at the house. She was watching this wall. Um, a game show, Survivor's Remorse, um, all four of them, the, uh, the Lebr uh, LeBrons, more than a game. Sh I think Shup and Dribble was one that we just uh, uh, discussed uh, previously. But it tells a lot about him wanting to be a storyteller. It's all about him wanting to help the community see a different light about what their experience can be, especially him coming from Akron, Ohio, especially him coming from the hood, to use the game of basketball as a way to shed light. So th if there's one lesson to learn here, your pursuit of entrepreneurship, your pursuit to making a lot of money, isn't for you just to have a certain status. Four phases of income that you're gonna experience. Number one, the survival phase. Like, I'm just barely surviving. That's one phase of income levels that you're gonna experience. I'm just barely surviving. If you take charge of your income, then you can start enjoying the next phase, which is status. You can eat at these restaurants, you can buy this car, you can live in this neighborhood, you can you know, have this uh, credit card, et cetera, et cetera. You got status now. The third phase after that then is freedom, financial freedom. You retire your mom, your dad on both sides. You're helping people in your community. You're tithing a lot to the church. You, you have hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars in a bank. You have financial freedom. You, your expenses are way low before your income. You have financial freedom. The fourth, the fourth phase is purpose. And the reason why you want to make a lot of money is to slide into that, to slide into the purpose for you to financially express your God-given talent and purpose and reason why you're here on that platform. His platform is the NBA. His platform is athletics. What's your platform? What platform are you going to elevate so therefore your message, your purpose, you're the messenger. Are you going to talk uh, uh, on a small hill or are you going to top, talk on the top of a mountaintop? Your choice based on the actions and the commitment you're willing to pursue. And I appreciate him for that example. So if you like that clip, please watch this one right here. If you want to see the full podcast, click right here.